Nelson is probably the oldest surviving 060 locomotive. It is a rare survivor from the late 1830s or early to mid 1840s. For many years, the locomotive was known as Bradill after Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Bradill of the Coldstream Guards, who had coal mining interests in Durham at the South Hetton Colliery, but he was declared a bankrupt in 1848. Whilst the South Hetton Colliery did indeed have a locomotive in the 1840s named Bradill, the tradition of the surviving locomotive being named Bradill only goes back to 1948, when the locomotive entered preservation and, with no explanation and with no sources cited, was named Braddell and described as a product of Timothy Hackworth in 1835. Research carried out by doctors Michael Bailey and John Glitherow, however, demonstrates that both are probably not true. The locomotive now known as Nelson first came to light in December 1919, when the Locomotive magazine included a photograph of the venerable locomotive, then in use as a snowplough, having been so converted in 1876. The magazine notes that the locomotive, quote, bore the name Nelson and the number two on the panel plate, end quote. Sadly, in over the centuries since then, no evidence of this name or panel plate can be traced. Nelson, unlike Bradle, was a locomotive which was operated by the East Hetton Colliery, which opened in 1839, which gives a potential building date for the locomotive, 1839 or about 1840. It was one of three locomotives used at the East Hetton Colliery, the other two being Kello, an 060 with vertical cylinders which drove through a jack shaft, unfortunately builder unknown but for which a drawing survives, and the diligence which arrived second hand from the Stockton and Darlington Railway. The builder of Nelson and its date of construction are not known. What is for certain is that the builder was not Timothy Hackworth, and nor was it built in 1835. Timothy Hackworth, in his early locomotive, used vertical cylinders, whereas those of Nelson are inclined and are mounted on the smoke box, the motion driving the rear set of coupled wheels. Timothy Hackworth adopted sloping cylinders in 1839 with his Tory class, but they were mounted at the rear of the locomotive, as on the surviving Derwent. Furthermore, the form of axle box are not at all like those used by Timothy Hackworth. The use of smoke box mounted sloping cylinders was a feature of locomotives built by Fossick and Hackworth of Stockton on Tees, as well as other manufacturers including Coulthard of Gateshead and Daniel Adamson of Hyde in Cheshire. The locomotive has no frame the boiler mounting brackets being fitted to the tops of the axle boxes. The brackets at the front of the locomotive protrude beyond the length of the present boiler, suggesting it is a shorter in-service replacement for the original. Nelson's boiler is an unusual design, patented in 1847 by George Fossick, Thomas Hackworth and their foreman Thomas Elliott. The firebox is semi-cylindrical, with an elliptical crown and longitudinal crown stays, but the plates are seam rather than lap riveted together, with the seam protruding into the water space, a design patented by Daniel Adamson of Hyde in 1852. The boiler itself is constructed from four longitudinal plates rather than individual rolled barrel sections, the plates themselves were rolled at the Low Moor foundry in Bradford in Yorkshire. The boiler barrel is 13 feet 3 inches long and 3 feet 4 inches in diameter. It was impossible to roll iron plates of this size before the middle of the 1840s, but this type of long plate boiler was used in the North East until the 1860s. All of this argues therefore for the boiler to date sometime after 1852 probably between 1853 and 1854, as a replacement 
for a life-expired original. The four-foot diameter wheels are of the cast-iron plug type, invented by Robert Wilson of Gateshead and later developed by Robert Stevenson of Newcastle-upon-Tyne. They are very similar in design to those of Derwent, and again that suggests an 1840s date. The wheels of a crank throw of 10 inches, suggesting the cylinders had a stroke of 20 inches. During the course of conservation work carried out in the late 1990s, it was found that the locomotive had originally been painted pale green and orange, to which colours it was restored. Taken as a whole, Nelson was probably built sometime around 1840, either by Fossick and Hackworth, W and A Kitching, William Lister, or Nesham and Welsh. Certainly, it was not built by Timothy Hackworth. It was then rebuilt in the mid 1850s, probably by Fossick and Hackworth, which included a new boiler. Then, in 1875, the locomotive was laid aside and was then put to use as a snowplough. Its cylinders, motion and other fittings were removed and a snowplough made up from old boiler plate attached in front, in which form the locomotive survived until the 1940s. Nelson today is on display at Locomotion Museum in Shildon the oldest surviving 060 in preservation, largely thanks to it being used as a snowplough. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please leave a comment below. Please also like, share and subscribe, and click the notification bell. I'd also like to thank all my supporters on Patreon and Ko-fi, whose generosity helps keep Rail Story operating. And I look forward to seeing you all next time on Rail Story.